Welcome back, lovely people, and I really hope you're keeping safe and well. In an intelligent U-turn, YouTube now let people like me talk about the COVID-19 virus. So many people have lost trust with their national media and are turning to YouTube for alternative information. YouTube creators really have a responsibility to tell the truth and not just sensationalize rubbish about the virus or anything else. Obviously, it's been a central part of my life. And although I'm mainly interested in aviation and technology, the damn little virus thing is fascinating science. And I found something really interesting about it. And no, it's not that it really came from a bio lab or it's a 5G virus. That is rubbish. Please don't believe either of those facts. They're not true. Because, as they say, the truth is more interesting than the fiction. What I'm going to tell you about today is a little-known superpower that's making the COVID-19 virus so virulent. This is fascinating real science and good research. People have been asking the question, why is the little guy so deadly. It's only a fatty ball of lipids with a few RNA parts and it's 80 billionths of a meter in diameter. But as you know, it's causing havoc and it's doing it in a strange way that people haven't seen before. Let me tell you. So, coronaviruses are everywhere. They're a very basic type of virus and you've had them before, the common cold. And there's been an outbreak of things like SARS and Mars that lasted for a few deadly months, but wasn't as bad as COVID-19. What is it doing differently? Well, it turns out that COVID-19 has a strange counterintuitive benign quality which could be its most deadly asset. And that's because when you first become infected, you show no symptoms. This period of no symptoms usually lasts between 10 and 15 days, but you are deadly. And that appears to be a very clever strategy of this little bug. The other thing that you need to know is the virus is very, very small. Just imagine if the viruses were this size. An alien invasion of our planet. We would be fighting them. But the more terrifying truth is that because they're so tiny, they defy the laws of nature. A lot of countries have put a six feet or a two meter separation rule to stop people coughing the virus into your face. Well, new research has found that this might not be good enough because of a unique quality of the COVID-19 bug. They're so tiny, they appear to break the laws of physics. Japanese researchers that found in a still air room, even breathing without coughing or sneezing, can put these bugs into the entire airspace and they stay there. What we expected with a sneeze or a cough is that particles would fall to the floor well, these little guys appear to stay hovering in the air for a long time. In just the last few months, scientists are exploring a whole new form of virus, which we don't yet fully understand. But the truth is out there.